welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where today we're going to do Tainted Bethany Greedier Mode, as it's one of two characters remaining that still requires Greedier Mode. And we start off with, not a bad start, immediately get a bunch of hearts into our charges. Getting hearts in this mode is a little bit more tricky after all, since we'd have to buy them or we... Uh, Pretty much after our lion health up, so probably not gonna happen as frequently, unfortunately. Just gonna use the book once for a smart fly, which is fine. <laughs> not the best, not the worst. Well, probably not the worst. There's probably worse items. Either way, we have an item. I mean, it could be worse. We have some decent starting damage, decent tier rate. We're fine. We're good. We get some extra health because of that health up as well, so not like too bad, but. It's it's a little worrying of a start. It's not like uh, you know, insta win. I'd like like the first item we get out of the book to just be an instant win item, and so we can play the game a little bit more calmly. But unfortunately, that is just not gonna happen this time. We'll probably use the book again once it is uh, charged. Don't really want to put any hearts in it right now until we visit our first angel room. Even though it's only increased chances of getting an angel room item. That way, it is still kind of nice. It's a little tempting to just run into an enemy so the attack fly starts doing stuff, but I probably shouldn't. Look, another fly. <laughs> At least this one actually deals decent damage. Plus, we got some other friends that are just killing everything right now, so... It's working out. i to be a little careful with those enemies in particular, but... And this isn't a great wave. It's a little bit more crowded than I would like, but... Again, we have one friend just blowing up everyone. <laughs> very nice. That actually took care of a lot of the business here, so that's very nice, actually. Don't mind that. Wish the Papa Fly would attack a little bit more, because I think his damage is actually pretty good. So, just gonna try to keep him nice and close to us, along with all the enemies in the game. And before you know it, everything is gone. This is also a little fiddly. One of our flames took a little bit of damage, and I don't know which one. But that's okay. 13 coins. We don't really need to stick to that central area, so that's nice. I'm tempted to buy the bread just because it's on sale and also it's a couple extra hearts. How much do I like Taurus? I might. I'm gonna try it. I think it's a bad idea. Uh, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Because... If we can get it to work here, then at least we can use the flame on um, these enemies without it just getting destroyed, so that's kind of nice. I'm not sure if it actually works, <laughs> is the problem. Oh, it does actually, it just keeps counting now. It used to be that it would go to the next wave and then it would just break. <laughs> so I do appreciate that, because it is in the flames are indestructible while you are indestructible, so it is... Not that terrible, up to this point where it doesn't proc again until the next wave, I suppose. But still, we killing monster that quickly is just really nice, so I don't mind it too much. We still have both of our items. I accidentally took damage, but it does mean the attack fly is now active. And now we have two monsters to worry about, but Taros is charging again. So, yeah, I don't actually hate it specifically in this mode. And there's the blood clot, which is also an item. But that means we can use the flame in a second again with uh, an invulnerability. And that'll probably work out just fine. Look at that. Actually dealing damage. <laughs> that would have taken a while otherwise, and now it actually wasn't too bad. I will stick to Angel Room because I think it's the right call. And I will actually just buy this in the hope that it... I was kind of hoping for a better item afterwards, but fair enough, I suppose. Um, I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna open that golden chest. I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> feel like it's the right call. There's certainly not gonna be like one pill inside. That's three coins for the price of five. Maybe not worthwhile, but you know. Sometimes you gotta believe in yourself, and today was not one of those days, but I did it anyway, and I have only some regrets. And that is good enough for me. Hopefully we can get some free keys over here. No, just uh, just a lot of health. <laughs> I mean, we have, uh, we're have we going to have a lot of charges at this rate by the time we're actually going into the thing. So that's kind of nice, I suppose. There is no reroll machine here. 
which uh, kind of blows. There is a damage up, so don't mind that too much. But I'd like some stats, please. We got the halo. Halo's nice, but I'd like uh, I'd like a little bit more. I'd like just a little bit more, please. This is a little fiddly, but again, once that Tauros activates, I can clear out pretty much the entire room, I think. It is actually really nice that that just works now. I wonder if I could just press the button while I'm invincible and then use Tauros again afterwards. That doesn't sound too weird of an idea. Yeah, let's do that. Clear out everything. It's a little scary, <laughs> but only a little. So it, it kind of works out. Yeah, now it's just charging again. Okay, I think I have a strat here with Tauros and Bethany. <laughs> it's rare, but it does happen on occasion. I wouldn't mind a speed up or something either, because then... Um, I don't know if speed up still even work, because I did really set my speed to 1 the moment I picked it up, but... We could get a speed up, that would be lovely. Just gonna keep doing that. Uh, maybe not like that though, but... <laughs> I'm getting the feeling this is probably gonna cost me money in the long run if I keep doing this, because... I feel like there's gonna be some sort of way to stop this from happening, but I think we're still getting the same amount of coins as we usually do. I'd say this works. This is the optimal Bethany strategy. I don't know if I should have used that there. I uh, probably shouldn't have. I also didn't know what item I got, and suddenly there was a bunch of enemies everywhere. It was a big mess. Oh, we got the slowdown sack. We lost Papa Fly? No. But he was such a good fly. He did some damage. <laughs> he did an amount of damage, and it was nice. Oh, well, there, <laughs> there went um, something else. Oh, the blood clot. Well, that's fine. That's barely anything anyway. So, I'm okay with that. Uh, just gonna actually stay here, even though we can afford the ring, uh, on account of the attack fly currently being active, and I kinda wanna keep it that way, especially against Pin, actually. So, don't mind that. Uh, we'll hopefully be able to destroy the second boss with Tauros here. It is a big spider. I will just stay away from that. <laughs> I want to deal with that until we get, get this going on, because that is just lovely. Did we kill him? Yeah. Very cool. One more wave, and then we get angel rooms. I did use my book a little bit late. A little bit later than I had intended, but no. Yeah, well. It's okay. At the end of the day, it's just a little annoying. And as long as I can keep a flame alive, we should be fine at the end of this fight anyway. It's only one charge, so it doesn't matter too much, but charges are kind of expensive in this mode, so I'd rather not waste them too much. Um, well, yeah, sure. I don't have a bomb. There is no bomb behind the statue. Milk, yeah, that's a classic ancient room item. <laughs> Salvation? Oh, Alright, could maybe work out. Oh, actually, yeah, that could work out. Your soul, spirit sword. Oh. <laughs> I see. And mom's contacts. Well, it's sort of manageable. I'd love, like, a book of shadows or something. That would actually help out so much right now. Instead, we're going to take the damage up and just leave with Yera. Yera's pretty good. You can get a decent amount of money with Yera, so I don't mind that. The charge attacks are probably going to have to take care of most of everything here, because, uh... I'm scared. Was there a bomb for sale? I actually don't recall. No. Can I swing my sword at this time? Yes, and there's two bombs in there. Almost forgot how the things worked, but that's actually pretty nice. I don't know if there was a tinted rock here, but... If there was, I was going to blow it up. But instead, let's just move on with our two bombs. And, uh, see, I should probably just check the shop immediately, because we're probably gonna lose this sword, and I kinda wanna be able to pick up things from a distance if I need to. That's not bad. That does not count for charges, unfortunately, but it is tier 8. And once we lose that sword, tier 8 is just a nice thing to have. Like, something like this? Don't mind it. Is there nothing inside there? <laughs> or was it just enemies that just died instantly? Because that... that was weird looking. Very odd. Let's destroy these. Five coins. I don't really care about any of this. I mean, this... Uh, I think that's four soul hearts, right? I don't hate that, actually. 
for 15 coins. A little bit expensive, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'll do. I'm gonna re-roll the rest of this. BFF, I wonder how good that would be. Because we do have this guy, and I don't know if he gets any better with BFF. Oh, I miss... Okay. We're technically on depths too, so it was 20 coins for the price of 15 coins. I'd say that was a pretty acceptable deal. Fair enough. Uh, God. <laughs> this is barely a build, but we're gonna see if we can make it work. I'm gonna re-roll this against my better judgment, because I think BFF could actually be really good. Lucky Foot could be alright. Um, I just don't really care. Probably not gonna take any pills anyway, so... Yeah, X-ray v... X-ray could be good, actually. I don't mind that. Let's clear out some waves here. Just gonna try to keep my distance as much as possible right now. I don't want to retain as many of these flames as possible, after all. And, uh, that's what we're gonna try. At least that's what the charge attack is for and all the many flies that we're spawning with the horsies. So that's good. I also just like to retain my health, I suppose, but... It's rare that I use a spirit sword like this. Usually it's just a lot of swinging, like this. But I can't really get away with that right now. We also seem to have lost the ability to use Tauros, unfortunately. Uh, which probably means we cleared out the wave too quickly. I guess if you clear the wave, Tauros just stops, which is kind of annoying, but... I guess with bosses we just haven't had that happen yet. So we kind of managed to work around that. I need to actually use this. Probably shouldn't have used it there specifically, but... Yeah, well. Because now I'm going to be awkward charge-wise again, which is a little annoying. Oh well. We can make it work. Have I picked up money? Oh, yes, all of it. <laughs> kind of forgot about Yara. Oh well. Um, uh, I'm going to buy the X-Ray specs. And see if we can find our secret room right now. Because maybe there's something good in there. Like a bed would be really nice, actually. There we go. That does work. Yeah, we're probably not gonna make... Oh, God. That's awkward. I... Come on, bloat. Can you not have all the creep in the world, please? There we go. <laughs> I was just waiting for the creep to go away, and it took a weirdly long amount of time. Come on. Get out of there. I don't want to use my flames on you, but at the same time, it's tricky not to. Ugh. Seemingly, the horse just did all the work there, and I appreciate that. That's not bad, but it's not really anything. I'm not really, <laughs> not really getting uh, anything that helps me against Ultra Greed at the end there, which is worrying me a bit. Uh, flame... I guess I'll take this just because you can destroy a lot of shopkeepers with it, and I actually don't hate that, given our limited bomb count. The secret room is in the curse room. I'm just gonna visit it, because otherwise, I think I need to visit as many secret rooms as possible to make that purchase worthwhile. We created a little friend. I didn't even know I had that. Um, I'm in two minds about this, because I like it. But theoretically, I could get Polaroid with the trinket that I have right now, and that would be better, probably. At the same time, I need some damage. I need any damage at this point, so let's just go for it. Oh. <laughs> Surprising, but... Acceptable. Black Market, okay. Uh, that's a rare one. Ah, nearly fell down. <laughs> um. Alright, well, first of all, let's just deal with this. That is a decent amount of money just hanging out here. We still have one bomb, so we can blow up these two as well. I don't really want to spend hearts on either of these, on any of this. Ooh, careful now. Like, Red Stew is obviously amazing, but it's a little early for it. The Infinity is also really good. 
Ah, uh, it's actually really strong. <laughs> uh, but I do like being able to get money with these flames, so I don't know. I think I'm gonna keep the flame against my better judgment. I don't know if I should. It's been a long time since I've seen a black market in general, so that's kind of exciting to at least have seen for the first time in a hundred years. So I'm kind of happy about that. There you go. Actual speed up. It did make my speed go up as well, but I don't know how that is going to work in combination with um, Tauros. If that just sets it back to one once it decides it's broken. <laughs> Still have our swords, so we can just grab that. That's a bed, so that's just three extra soul hearts. And that's why we like the secret rooms. <laughs> because that is an option. D20 is also actually very tempting. But I don't know. On the one hand, it's tempting. On the other hand, it's a bit of a mess. I think I need to use my flame on these enemies. I can't really afford to get close. Oh, yeah, nice. All right, just <laughs> go back into the flame, I suppose. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's go in here. Little monstro, I mean, I guess. Sure. Fine. That's fine. I'm going to use Yara on this floor if I remember. I'm going to actively try to remember Yara for once. Uh, just once again, going to try and stay away. As long as we hang out, then Toro should activate. At least once. There we go. Press the button. I really tried not to pick up any money. I'm not sure if I didn't. It was kind of hard to tell. Oh, uh, God. Get away from me. Trying to not kill the last enemy too quickly. Otherwise, we don't get Tauros. And I really am depending on it a bit right now. To try and retain our things here. I'm just not going to use the book. I did not mean to pick that up. Okay, it does reset our speed to what our current actual speed is. So that's kind of nice. I don't know why I didn't press the button. <laughs> but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It was all planned. Um, that's okay. These flames are getting small. I don't like it. I don't like that at all. I'm just gonna hang out here, wait for the next boss to show up. Should happen any... There we go. Mr. Fred. I mean, I guess that's fine as far as bosses go, but... He can be a little tedious, this more the thing. And I don't want my impatience to overrun me. I think I picked up a lot of money there. I'm still gonna use Yara because I'm tired. <laughs> Probably also could have just used Yara in a room filled with shopkeepers that had uh, five coins in their eyes, but no oh well. We're gonna re-roll this and hope for a sale. That's a sale, technically. Fool card? I mean, makes the curse room a little bit more tempting. Crooked Penny also actually was kind of tempting there, but no oh well. Please don't give me just active items again. I kind of, I need like a passive, please. <laughs> uh, that's all right. There we go. Probably could have saved that for um something or another, but oh well. Is there an active item anywhere else? No. Game breaking bug. Yeah, none of that was, I mean, this could be good. Because that could be an extra item in the Devil Deal or Angel Room. So that's at least something. It's at least something. <laughs> uh, just gonna try to lure out some Brimstone attacks here. Come on, be nice, be friendly, be not a meanie. There we go. I'm just gonna focus mostly on one here. And that's about as much as we can do there. God, I'm gonna miss Spirit Sword when it's gone. <laughs> it is a pretty important part of my damage right now. That's a devil deal. That's a bad one as well. I'll just, never mind, it's actually alright. And <laughs> we got the the oh so lucky. Uh poop from the from that. Cool. At least the game breaking bug turned something into a half a heart, which I guess is something I can consider every now and then. Um, right. So the downside is, if I use the void, 
on this, then I lose my flame because I don't have a place to put it. Which is a little annoying. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, what else can I do here? I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna move on. Uh, this is a bit of a mess. We have a lot of health. Health-wise, we're gonna be okay. Sort of. <laughs> we have one more floor with items, item rooms, so, you know. We still have our sword, so if we can get a free uh, item because of free trinket, that'd be nice. That's a black heart and some bombs. I'll come back for that. That's a key on sale, don't mind that. That's some shopkeepers, that's the <laughs> one of them rare events. But it did give me a decent drop, so I don't actually even hate it that much. And all in all, just garbage for sale here. I mean, range is kind of nice. That's actually a thing. That's two things. That's two things that I would like. I will accept these two things, please. I will not bother. <laughs> I'm gonna play this one a little safer because I'm a little worried about everything right now. Yeah, okay. Let's give this a shot. I'm just gonna use this immediately. Ooh, Cricket's body. I don't know how much that's going to affect my sword currently, but it will probably be pretty useful in a minute. There is enemies here. <laughs> I couldn't see them, but I was attacking something. There we go. Okay. The strat still works. The Toro <laughs> strat still highly effective. Let's take this, because it's also a speed up, and that's going to make it activate even quicker. I don't know if these are invisible enemies or not. So I'm just gonna keep swinging. Oh god. Get me out. There we go. Just slowly but surely want to retain as much health as I feasibly can. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of health to go around on this map right now, so that's at least some. Oh god, that was bad. That was real bad. That was a bad explosion. <laughs> That took care of so many of my flames. Admittedly, the Spirit Sword is still the most important of my items that I currently have, but I'd rather not, just not lose them, you know? Uh, that might work. No! I did. I lost it. I lost my Spirit Sword. Ah. That was unfortunate. Also, I killed that boss a little bit too quick. But, yeah, well. This build's actually okay. It's still, like, dealing some amount of damage. It's gonna be a little fiddly against Ultra Greed, but that didn't help. That was a lot of tier 8 that just got destroyed with that final flame there. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about the Revenge Fly, but I don't even have that anymore. Let's just use these flames optimally. Use Monstro here. Little monster as optimally as possible as well. I don't have... I mean, the, the bone might deal some damage, but that's about it. It's not very effective. Not super exciting. We can heal up with the item that's currently in my item room. So that's nice. We got that going for us. I don't fully know what hit me, but I think it might have been one of the flies from war. That time it was just monster jumping on top of me, admittedly. Oh my god. What is actually hitting me a lot here? Don't worry about it. Let's just play it safe. Play it calm. No concerns. Not bad. As far as angel rooms go, it's not the worst in terms of that it had health. And flight. And Robo Baby 2.0. Well, you know what. I'm gonna take this and hope it works out. Probably should have taken Squeezy, actually, but no well. I've made my choices. They may not be good choices. <laughs> as per usual. With Flight, I'm a little bit more tempted to go into the Curse Room as well, I guess. Especially since I think my Secret Room is over there. Which also makes it a little bit more tempting for sure. Two more pills. I really cannot afford 
a tears down right now. <laughs> so let us not. Let us not. I'm gonna see what's over here before I destroy that flame. Five coins. Okay. What's this? Two soul hearts. All right. In that case, we're doing that because I kind of was hoping I could afford Squeezy that way, but it does not appear so. I'm trying to pick up this heart as I leave. I'm not really too bothered about losing the black heart because I don't think it would have done that much. Um, pause would have been okay. It would have actually been pretty good thinking about it, but oh well. Let's just leave. Maybe, maybe the next floor will have the items. <laughs> yeah, I believe. Two more hearts. Is there anything I can do with hearts? I don't think so, right? Not feasibly. I could blow these up. Maybe get some coins out of that. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Um, well then. I guess we leave. I do still have algae's and that's kind of nice. It's a lot of extra safety because 30 seconds of infinite flames is just really nice. I think I'll probably use it on the first phase. Ooh, and that's actually a pretty fun combo. The parasite with uh, the many tears. Can we get a little bit more money? There's a secret room. There is a golden poop in my secret room. Don't hate that. There's a trinket that only affects item rooms, so that's exciting. Uh, given that we're not going to see one again. There is tier 8 there, which excites me. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I think I'll go for tier 8. I actually don't hate it. And habit might be really good. But I'm going to reroll it. I want to have like some damage or something because I really need damage more than anything right now. Wire coat hanger is actually very tempting. Cuz I'm not I'm not at all at max tier 8. I'll actually go for tier 8 over damage, I guess. And just move on from now. These waves are all going to be fairly quick, so it's pretty much impossible to kill the enemies in time to screw up Toro, so that's nice. Uh, especially with enemies like the Keeper. So that's good. Greed even, one could call it. I'm gonna call him the Keeper because he looks the same. But realistically, I guess it's a, it's it's greed. It's, it's greed. I'd also like it if it spawned a few more shopkeepers. Like, usually have those ways where 100 shopkeepers just appear, and I would appreciate one of those right now, but... We'll see. Use the book. Mom's wig. Could be good. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Hands. Very nice. Destroy everything. Again, sticking with the slowly and calmly strat. Because I'm feeling like that's probably the way to go. That just died. Alright. I'm not sure why he... Right. Everyone just insta dies right there. Am I dealing 100 damage per shot by accident without realizing it? Because I don't hate it. Is it the flies? It might actually be the flies. <laughs> it might have been some war flies or something just insta killing some of these enemies. Thinking about it. We have actually cleared some of these waves again too quickly for Tauros to happen. So that's a little annoying. But we did create some shopkeepers. Which is okay, only two of them, but still, they're shopkeepers. Accidentally picked up a little battery, which probably shouldn't have, but... It's all good, it's all good. Well, this is at least gonna make sure Tauros activates. <laughs> oh god, please. Well, he's just hanging out here, I guess. <laughs> Whatever works, at least we dealt a lot of damage at the end there. I think he got slowed by something, and I'm not sure by what, but it certainly made him just stay in the air invulnerable. <laughs> so that was fun. That was a good time for everyone involved. That's a lot of skeletons, but I just broke something. I don't know what flames I even have right now, but they're probably really good. They're probably the best flames I've ever had. There we go. What a good time for you to come out of your hidey hole. 
Devil Deal to finish it off. We have an item that does nothing, an item that gives us more tier rate, and an item that gives us more damage. Honestly, Bloody Gus is tempting. Uh, Book of Belial actually as well. But I don't want to spend health on anything. Little haunt. Infamy. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I don't know. Do I really want to... I don't... Nah. I'm just... Bleh. I just don't feel like it. I just don't feel like it. Especially since there's no health for sale right now. I mean, now there is, but it's a little late due to my money situation. What's that? Spawns four random item wisps of quality three and four wisps of... It's just not interesting. Um, Can I get three more coins? Because I wouldn't mind that. Maybe. With eight pots, there's a chance. I lost flight. That's what I lost. <laughs> Again, a little late, but sure, I guess. Oh my god. Well, we got a coin, so at least we can buy a soul heart. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. Uh, do I need anything else? I found the secret room. There's a red heart in there. Can I not pick that up? Yes, I can. It's just right there. Little irrelevant, perhaps, but it, it is two more uses of... The flame that I can then use in quick succession, so I guess that's kind of nice sometimes. This is going to be a messy fight, I think, but I'm hoping for the best here. Just going to try to stay far away as possible from the enemies and hope it works out. Because I do not have much going on. <laughs> going to need to actually try against this fight for the first time in a long time, I feel. And hopefully it's going to be okay. I'm not especially worried, but it could go wrong. We do have max health, so that's really nice. We have okay tier 8. Like, we have some stuff kind of going on, but it's all just not great. <laughs> oh god, don't throw it right on me. That's Tauros. Very awkward to use against this boss, but fair enough. I want to make sure that we can use Alges um, during this phase, I think. Because I think the next phase isn't going to be that important, but he does become quicker and quicker as the fight progresses. And I wouldn't mind when he's especially quick to have the shield available. That attack I'm just going to stay away from. I've gotten hurt by that before in ridiculous ways, quite frankly. <laughs> it's a surprisingly long-range attack when he starts spinning, and I don't want to deal with it. I was attacking shopkeepers rather than the enemy, but don't worry about it. This attack as well. It's just, I don't like anything that relates to spinning. Like, look at that. It was just right on my head. I was admittedly only half a heart of damage, but I'm still not especially happy about it. We're at least about halfway through the first phase. That second uh, coin attack, the coins didn't just land on my head, so I can also kind of appreciate that, I suppose. Wouldn't mind if the horseman at some point went towards the boss as well, but that'll happen when it happens, I suppose, as well. Slowly but surely. Ah, Lulan's doing some work as well. Actually scaring him quite effectively, I feel. How did that get close enough to me? That's, I disagree with that. We are not in agreement about this situation. I'm gonna just do this. And try to get close to him. Because, quite frankly, look at this nonsense. He's just knocking me around so much, even though I am not even next to it. Because <laughs> of his big old hands. Oh, God. I want to use this as effectively as possible. It is very difficult if he doesn't stop spinning all the time. Uh, trying to look for shadows during that attack, but there have been so many explosions that it all just blends together. <laughs> It's fine, though. It's fine. We've not gotten hit that much. And as long as we just stay away, it's all good. Electro Baby. Battery Baby, even. His name is Electro Baby now. Even doing some stuff on occasion. There we go. Phase 1 done. Only got lost 2 health. That's not too bad. Am I close enough for this? No, no. Now I am. <laughs> uh, 
don't like that bomb there. Don't like any of these bombs here, but it'll do. Hopefully not gonna get screwed over too much with some of these attacks, but other than that, yeah, my range is bad. <laughs> Ooh. He knocked the coin into me, that's kind. I thought he was greed. I don't know why I'm trying to pick up money. There's really no reason. Uh, it's so hard to even destroy the bomb coins right now. <laughs> this is not a very, very effective build, but it's doing the job, you know? Don't like this. God. Some of those rocks are also just going for me, huh? But that's okay. Don't do that, though. I mean, honestly, this is going fine. Like, <laughs> if we can keep this up, it's going to be no problem at all, but... Uh, I just want it to be over. Uh, I, just, I just want this fight to be done. Before I celebrate, preferably. Because he also does stuff like that sometimes, where the rock attack just goes for you. And then, what do you do? What do you do? Good god. And sometimes I just don't dodge. <laughs> Sometimes I just wait and watch as life takes me, but... Ah, well. That's one heart used. One red heart used. Very important to keep track of this for the stats. Not really for any other purpose. I can just tack him at this point. <laughs> it's all good. Pretty rough fight, but we did, we got it done. I think that's the one that actually drops two bone hearts. I think I said that about a different card the other day. I don't know what the other card does, but or which one it even was, but let's say that's the one that drops two bone hearts. That's probably correct. <sighs> well, that was a mess, but I mean, we never were really in any danger, so it, it certainly worked out in a pretty good way. That is Greedier mode done with every character except for Tainted Jacob, which will probably happen next week, so I can kind of appreciate that. Yeah. Don't hate it. Decent progress all around. We're getting closer and closer to actually beating this game. And it only took roughly a year at this point. <laughs> there is so much stuff to do in this game. But yeah, fair enough. It's another character with greedy mod completed. And hopefully next week we can compl complete it with Tainted Jacob. And then we never have to play greedy mode again from that point on. It's just the rest of the stuff. And I can appreciate that. Either way, hope you all enjoyed it. Next time we play, we'll be doing another run with a different character. And I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.